Hello YouTube, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. And uh, when we last left off, we made our way here. Uh, we spoke to uh, Dwarf Guy here. We got situated a little bit with weapons and armor. And I guess we got to go talk to Sindri to progress the game here. So let's go speak hey, with him. Come see. What's up, boy? I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Okay. All right, well, I guess we'd check out every room then. Uh, I guess Kratos has nothing to say. Let's see. Any food? See? I knew you wanted a snack. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was uh, the joke he made to Kratos when he walked in. He was like, do you want a snack? And Kratos was like, I do not want a snack. <laughs> I didn't realize they were going to have follow-ups. <laughs> Wait! Those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. <laughs> Alright, Sentry, I will not break your house. Finding everything alright, I hope? Yeah, I guess. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, okay. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Derlin. Who's Derlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? Huh. If that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. All right. You Guess we're that? going to Muspelheim. Wait, hear what? Was you saying that from the beginning, or is there something... Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. Eh, yeah, let's just assume they're big. Alright. Guessing that's gonna mean something later on in the game. Probably gonna have to go we'll down there and fight one or something. Head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, up. Cindy, a stodging bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the iris clamp. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! No one's okay. poison! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Alright, so we're gonna Cyclops our way to different dimensions? Crossbolt of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... Oh, there! That should do it! So now this is going to take us to other worlds? No permanent damage. Oh, 
I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> In case you take the joke, you old dope. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of weird because I thought that the Bifrost was the only way to get to multiple worlds, but okay. That's that seems kind of easy. Seems like somebody would have thought of that before now. The Bifrost is broken. Now that we reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, <laughs> let me show you how it works. I'm guessing hold the stone up to the world you want to go to. Doesn't seem that particularly hard. Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. Oh, okay. Got that wrong. I thought we was going to Muspelheim. Alright. Uh, okay. Get your game. Oh, wait. That's where I'm at. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks! Wait, hmm. what? I said good luck! I know this was the spot where you threw yourself off at the end of part one, I think. You do remember we don't have the unity stone to let us jump off, right? Of course he remembers. Right, brother? Of course I remember. <laughs> I figured they was going to have something for going over there. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, e everything. It's warm. That sound, sounds like we need to move here. We can probably use his boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Thought we were done with boats. Guess not. Why are these Damn it, boy. So Rich on the left. Oh, that was mine. I don't know what that is. Must be something for the the shield, maybe. Behind you. Or maybe a side effect that the shield gives us. All right, let's solve this problem. Right, left flank. I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I hate the fact that uh, I turned on uh, get everything, you know, as far as pickups and stuff automatically. But yet, see how, like, I can't get this one? It's like I have to press the button to get it. Maybe the system only picks it up if you need it. Because my bar is full, so maybe that's why uh, it, it, it didn't pick up automatically. I gotta keep an eye on that and make sure that's the thing. Cause if that's the thing, I don't, I don't have to just, you know, hit circle to pick up anything. I'm hoping that's the case. I believe Mom led a whole rebellion move against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have cut that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? It's her business. The water. There are resources. Ah, okay. More of stuff we can dip in the water to get, huh? If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch you. Yes, the exactly room. that. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs> she said, husband, guard the house. <laughs> I will be back in five days. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, park the boat over here on the left. 
be something they want me to get here. I feel like this game's more linear than the first one. Because I remember uh, once the game kind of opened up, you kind of could go anywhere you want type of thing. And you couldn't progress to certain areas until you did certain things. But uh, this game, like the water here isn't open like the lake was on part one. It seems like it's like, okay, go this way, but there's a couple stops you can make along the way, you know? Did you see that over there? Not really. But we're gonna collect what we can. I'm pretty sure at some point they're gonna have at least some backtracking in this game, though. I mean, they gotta fill up that time sometime. I don't know exactly what, but I've heard that this game, um, from other people who played it, um, I don't know a whole lot, but I know that the middle section is slow, so I don't know what that means, to. but I guess we'll get to it when we get to it. Alright, so I'm guessing we gotta move the wheel to the left and then go up here and jump across, go that way. But, let's go figure it out. So, these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know Sulfur, what is maybe? a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. Hmm. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in a second. Okay, so we probably got to get up here and use the chains to pull the wheel. But how do we get up there? Do we use the chains to get up here? It would work? Okay, that's the game saying, okay, freeze the water. Gotcha. All right, let's go do that. I, I, I know game. Uh, I'm not retarded. You told me like twice already. Thank you. Technically three pounds. Nah, I don't want me to throw it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I didn't freeze it unless I gotta throw it at the base. Okay. Alright, what's up here? Ooh. Looks to be an artifact from the dwarven resistance. Raid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Oh, Not really this puzzle. In getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Okay, so there's a chest nearby. Oh, there it goes right there. Okay, so, alright, one, two, three. Gotcha. Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. I like the fact that he we don't have to carry the, uh, the boy again. <laughs> I wonder if he and mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion, you know. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Oh, look, enemies. Ooh, these guys are bad. But at some point, I also gotta test out the counter, too. But since we got the shield that does it, I gotta test things out next time we get one of those uh, hits we can actually block. Right? On your left! Okay, I didn't realize the game was just gonna make me do it. I mean, thank you, game. I, I realized I bought that shield for that particular reason. I said before, I'm not retarded. Turned off the tutorial stuff for a minimum. So, like, stop telling me all that stuff. You got me play the game. That's what I bought it for. They did $70 for this game. Let me play it. 
Now, how did you see that? Got eyes in the back of your head. I need those electric guys here. 